Hello subscribers and not subscribers, welcome back to Isle 2 Sturmovic. Uh, I do want to note one thing real quick. Uh, I had thought that I had fixed the issue with my flight sticks throttle. Uh, it sadly appears as though I didn't actually fix it and it had just sort of gotten fixed for a little while. Uh, but yeah, so it's acting up again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly this mission. Hopefully I don't have any serious issues, but I'm going to go in and fly this mission. Um, but I will probably be putting the series on hold for a little while while I go and try to uh, get the to buy a new flight stick which from what I can tell I'm looking at about hundred and seventy dollars and that's hundred and seventy dollars I had not planned to spend uh, so I'm going to be launching something that I hadn't planned to launch for a number of months, like towards the end of this year, maybe the start of the new year. Um, however, because I'm going to have to go and spend 170 or so dollars for a flight stick, I'm going to go ahead and be launching it early. And I'll go into detail while we're flying as to what it is that I'm talking about there. But first, let's go ahead, start the flight and take off. And like I said, once we're we're flying, I'll go into detail. It still doesn't really go between 55 and 0 all that well, and definitely doesn't go between 55 and 100 all that well. So until I'm pretty much at the end of this that it finally starts going again. So that's kind of a pain. Take off flaps, start the engines. These guys to take off. Hello, little friend. Good to see you guys. So glad you decided to join us. Over. Okay, almost our turn. Heading one eight zero altitude. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to take off this. Oh no, we can't. Yeah. Um, it also appears as though my throttle or my uh, stick doesn't twist off to the right all that well either. So that uh, the z-axis is kind of acting up. So that's not exactly helpful either. So you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and let autopilot take off because it won't have any issues. So autopilot, you do your thing. I just not gonna care right now. Um, okay, so as I had said, I'm gonna end up pr probably launching something that I hadn't planned to launch for a couple of more weeks. Um, and in that case, I'm what I'm talking about there is uh, Patreon. It's something I've been working on for about the past uh, month or so, setting up a, a Patreon page and whatnot haven't quite really put all the details there which was one reason why I was planning to wait until towards the end of the year or the start of the new year before launching it but again uh, since I'm gonna have to go and spend about a hundred and seventy or so dollars to buy a flight stick that I hadn't planned to go and buy for about another year because uh, I planned to buy one around the time Star Citizen finally came out so I'm saying about a year I'm figuring uh, 
but gotta buy it because this one is acting up now and so gotta replace it because I can't as you could see there I couldn't turn off to the right to prevent myself from dying uh, I, granted I don't know why my plane instantly exploded as soon as I went off the runway but it did so we're just gonna have to go and live with that um, but yeah so I'm gonna have to go and replace my flight stick I hadn't planned to go and do so initially so now I'm gonna have to go or I'm gonna go ahead and be probably launching the patreon page within the next couple of weeks um, and I'll probably do a real video that more so explains what patreon is but essentially it's a way for you guys to uh, donate money and there's goals there that can be met uh, that I set up and I've already got some although really I was trying to also fine-tune the uh, monetary amounts for them but yeah, I can't really do anything about that so I'm going to be going ahead and probably leaving those roughly where they are and I'll fine tune them um, after launch since I can apparently do that at least so that's nice um, I can also add new ones and whatnot uh, but yeah, as I said I'll probably be launching that in the next couple weeks obviously you guys don't have to go there but it helps because if you guys go there then that ensures that uh, Essentially, it helps in paying off the uh, flight stick, as well as also having goals that you guys might like some of them. Um, but yeah, so and it it helps me out because again, that's one hundred and seventy dollars that I hadn't planned to spend, so I didn't like put it off to the side to buy a new flight stick. But since I'm gonna have to buy a new flight stick, I now have to go and spend the money to do so. Um, but of course in doing so I decrease the amount of money that I can go and spend on other things such as games and whatnot for the channel software for the channel and things like that so it's where the patreon thing helps out because you guys will be able to go and actually um, donate money and again there are goals there when you meet those goals you guys get things um, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to go into too much detail, but the gist of it is that some of those goals are things like uh, buying a, uh, what is it, an HD PVR or whatever so that I can go and record console games so that when it comes to like the console exclusives and whatnot, I can go and record those. Uh, I've also got one on there for buying a PlayStation 4. Um, and then I've got a very uh, like low tier one that is essentially me just adding uh, horror games to the repertoire of games that are uploaded on the channel because honestly I'm not the biggest fan of horror games which is the reason why I put it there as a goal but I also said it's a fairly low goal uh, so that it can be pretty easily achieved um, but yeah so that's just kind of the gist of it again it's a way for you guys to help out the channel one of many ways I've already had a number of ways set up for you guys to help support the channel but that's it's just another way but this one also again like I said provides you guys something in return because you get the goals and so yeah like I said I'll probably be launching that within the next couple of weeks again it helps out uh, for paying off the flight stick that I hadn't planned to go and buy but it also helps out the channel because it allows me to get more spending money for things that go to the, towards the channel uh, because it'll pretty much pay for the channel's stuff in and of itself so I can stop putting as much money from other sources into the channel as well although I would still be putting uh, that money into the channel nonetheless but you guys donating on Patreon just provides more money to be able to go into the channel at the end of the day. Uh, but like I said, I'll probably be doing an actual real video in the future that actually sort of talks more about what Patreon is. But I wanted to go ahead and give you guys fair warning because like I said, my flight stick is acting up. And I'm going to have to go and replace it. I hadn't planned to. And so I didn't set any money aside for really replacing it right now 
and so yeah, that's that. Uh, but this series, I think, nonetheless, because I probably won't be buying it as soon as I finish recording this, I'll probably go and do something else. I probably won't end up buying it until maybe the weekend or so. Uh, but yeah, so I'll be more than likely be putting this series on hold for a couple of weeks while I sort through uh, finding a joystick that I actually want and that is actually of good quality uh, but is also reasonably affordable for me because again I'd rather not go and spend too much money I don't want to go and spend 300 bucks on a flight stick especially since it's not like I'd be using it for very many games anyway so it's not like it would effectively pay for itself over time because uh, really the only games it would be used for is this Star Citizen and if I could ever get myself a reason to use a flight stick um, over mouse and keyboard in Elite Dangerous, I'd use it there as well. Uh, but as I said, there's, for me personally, not really any reason to go and uh, use, or to go and spend that much money on a flight stick. So I'm not going to go and spend two, three hundred bucks on it. I'm willing to go and spend maybe about a hundred and fifty if need be. Um, I'm not going to enjoy spending that money but I will do it if need be. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Like I said, uh, let's go ahead and actually fast forward this because this episode's going to take ages. And I think I'll be in post uh, fast forwarding this some more because this is, like I said, going to take forever. Yep. Well, we should finally start turning in towards our actual objective in the relatively near future. And, okay, there we go. And actually, you know what? One second. Okay, I just wanted to check and make sure that uh, DX Tori was actually recording my uh, microphone audio because I saw an update for it uh, just before I went to go and record this and so I had told it to update. Uh, but I didn't bother checking to make sure that my uh, audio settings were the same after I had updated, but it looks like they are, so I'm fine. Okay, so uh, first things first, hopefully I will be capable of actually firing on uh, these guys. Yeah, okay, 2 o'clock, I get it. Where exactly 2 o'clock? Are they below? Above? Looks like above, and they're BF 109s. Absolutely grand. Where are you guys? There you are. Come on. I dare you guys. I'm going to let autopilot do its thing. I'm going to deal with these BF 109s. So if they come diving out on me, I'm going to kill them. It's that simple. Come on. I dare you to dive on me. Okay. Looks like they don't give a crap about me. Come on, guys. You know you want to deal with the bombers. You don't want me bombing out your ground targets. Also, I'm surprised these uh, P-47s are actually doing pretty decent. Oh, 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 are you coming for me, dude? Are you coming for me? 
Kinda looks like you are, but maybe not. Can't quite tell. No, you're not. Damn. Okay. Anybody else? Anyone else want to deal with me, huh? Oh, autopilot, what are you doing? Um, what did I set the button to again? See, this is what happens when you don't play for a couple of weeks. What did I set the bomb sight button to? Okay, Doki, where is it? Okay. I know it's somewhere in here. Just know it. But I can't find it. Okay, well, uh, I like that that is now listed as you, because that is what it's supposed to be. Maybe that'll fix the issue. I kind of doubt it. We'll try it out once we are done bombing these guys. But where the hell did I put the sight? Okay, because there's an auto for the sight mode. But I need to get into the sight. So where the hell did I put it? Aye, aye, aye. Okay, well... Okay, it's that. Uh, bomb bay doors, open. Why are they... I want them open! Open them! There we go. Where are you? Oh, shit. Oh, I see them now. I missed. I missed. I can tell you that right now. I did not see them until afterwards. Let's go close our bomb bay doors because we do not want them shooting our bombs okay we're gonna have to oh, well that definitely doesn't seem to fix the issue with the uh, throttle so that's still acting up We're just going to make a very tight turn and attempt to hit those guys right down by the hangars, if at all possible. Oh, should not be doing that. Definitely should not be doing that. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Bombay doors open and drop. I said drop. Okay, controls. Why are you not dropping bombs? Okay, now you're gonna drop them when I don't need you to. Thanks. Oh, yeah. oh is it because the things were still? Uh, it's probably because they were still closed. God damn it. Okay. Let's try this again. Hopefully this time things work out better for us. Let's punch up the throttle, combat flaps, turn on our side, and turn. You can hold together. Trust me, my little plane. You can hold together. I'm sure we've been through worse. Attention, fighters. 11 o'clock. Oh, shit. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. I regret that decision completely. I regret that decision completely.
No, no, almost. Almost. Okay, there we go. Whew. Okay, we managed to get out of there. Let's get into our bomb site view and let's find our targets. I can't find our targets. Okay. Where the hell are they? Oh, 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 oh. There they are. I don't know if we're dropping them or not. Are we out? I think we're out. Even though we still see bombs there, it appears as though we are out. Oh, sh- what the? Okay, somebody just hit our, um, radiator, I think. Oh, God! Uh, okay, we got fuel leaks in both planes. Wonderful. Uh, you know what? I actually don't give a crap anymore. I'm just gonna say, screw it, I don't care anymore. Um... You guys want to strafe some ground targets? Because I am actually... I think it's easier if I just go ahead and end this. Potentially. Rather than uh, trying to keep going. Especially since the series is going to be going on hold anyway. Might as well have it go out and hold in a blaze of glory. And so where is it? Oh god, okay. Uh, rear gunner, heavily wounded, bleeding, turret machine gun jammed. Okay, now we are leaving. We strafed a couple of uh, fuel tanks. I think that'll be a uh, pretty decent amount of damage. Fuel's fairly important to the war effort. Okay, I think we are safe now for the most part. Let's try to climb, but uh, keep them a bit. Keep it hard for them to aim for us. Okay, and we climb and head back to base as well. Yeah. I think we're fine to return to base now. They can't say we didn't do anything. We did. We missed all of our bombs. And we strafed a couple of uh, uh, things of fuel. Also, I think those BF-109s are still alive. Which, um, yes they are. And that is definitely not a good thing. We are going to have to try and return to base while flying at a fairly low altitude because I'm going to have a pain in the ass of a time climbing. Okay, well one of those BF-109s is either on fire or has a very serious fuel leak. Although since this came out, if I recall correctly, it usually indicates fuel leaks by having a white stream of, uh, uh, well I guess essentially liquid coming out. Uh, I think he's on fire. Because it's black and not white. And we'll just let our plane climb on its own. Oh, engine's overheating. 
Now it's kind of a pain for me to do things about the engine overheating since I can't really fine-tune my throttle. I think you guys will be fine. Let me go and let base know that I'm returning. Um, let me see. Uh, vector to home base. I think we are too far away. I am curious. What are the enemies saying? Oh, nose gunner got killed in bomb sight. What? Why bomb sight say bombs away? Yeah, we're gonna go and listen to the German calm chatter for a little while. Now we gotta try not to stall now because we are flying far too low for me to be able to recover from a stall. We also need to go and gain some altitude, preferably up to about a thousand meters if at all possible. Uh, I think that'll be a decent altitude. That should keep us away from a good chunk of their flak, although granted the route we are following back I believe has very little in the way of flak, yeah. So even if we don't manage to make it to a thousand meters, that will still be relatively okay. But again, I'd prefer to be at about a thousand meters because again, I think that'll be relatively safe. And it looks like the Germans have stopped talking. They realize that I'm on their channel, so they're like, uh, "Why would we do that?" My character must have said something. Whatever. Heading zero nine zero. Altitude five zero. Let's turn back in t towards our left a little bit more. Uh, it looks like our bombers aren't doing so hot out there. They should return back to base. You know, after you've dropped your bombs, and considering the fact that the Germans have BF 109s there and quite a number of them. I would advise heading back to base like I am, because if you survive, you can do more than you can if you die. So I would advise trying to survive rather than trying to get as many kills as possible. How else do you think I survived this long? And we have the fun job now of making it back to base. Luckily I do still have, because I can't change it after the fact, uh, unlimited fuel, although I do have limited ammo. Oh, don't do that to me, game. Uh, but yeah, so because I have unlimited fuel, really this fuel leak doesn't matter, but uh, plan is taking quite the beating anyway. I can just say there was a lot of flack there that we hadn't expected. Uh, and then we also had to deal with some BF-109s and I managed to make it back to base because I wasn't an idiot who kept trying to kill as many ground targets as physically possible. So I'm probably going to be the only one in my flight to survive. Um, it's their own fault for not heading back to base after dropping their bombs. Granted, I did the same. I didn't return to base immediately after dropping my bombs, but hey, I did still go and do a little bit of damage before leaving nonetheless. No, don't go to combat flaps. I don't need those. You know, surprisingly, our plane seems to be doing fine, and it's not overheating all that quickly. wonder why that is. Really? Okay, he's gonna be dead. 
I don't want to land this thing, honestly. I'm probably just going to bail out over the ocean. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'll attempt a landing, but if that doesn't work, I'm just going to bail out over the ocean and say, screw it. If they ask why I bailed out, I'll just say, well, it was far too damaged to be able to fly it anymore. Okie dokie. Go to normal speed. Stabilizers off and fly off to our left. Also, try and gain some altitude because we are flying a bit too low to the ocean for my tastes. Because in this game, if you so much as hit the ocean, you explode, as we have learned numerous times in the past. Which is kind of silly, really, because even though you hit the ocean, you're not going to just instantly explode and be like, everyone on board is dead. I mean, sure, you'll pretty much wreck the entire aircraft, and you might have a number of people that get wounded, but I don't think everybody's just going to instantly die. Especially considering that we're not diving down from like a thousand or so meters up in the air. We're pretty close to the ground already, so even if we hit the ocean, we shouldn't instantly die. should just be you've got a set time limit to get everybody out. Okay, yeah, I think about 200 meters will be a relatively safe um, altitude. Oh yes, I do need to turn in a little bit more to start heading towards the actual island itself. The island that in theory is probably meant to be Britain, but it isn't. Although maybe it's not Britain. Maybe it's one of those islands in the channel. I guess that's a possibility, but I kind of doubt it. Okay, so this isn't going to be the easiest plane to land right now. Uh, not only because of the sheer amount of damage our wings have taken, but also because I can't really control my throttle all that well beyond 55%. Uh, and then even below 55%, it just kind of instantly goes straight down to zero, practically. So, again, not going to be the easiest plane to land. 
Uh, but I am sure you guys will enjoy me probably crashing and burning as I attempt to land. Because that's probably what's going to end up happening. But hopefully it's not. a little bit more altitude because I feel as though I'm still flying a bit too low to the ground even though really this is probably too high off the ground to go in for a proper landing Kidoki tab ground control uh, request for landing Thank you, Tower, and let's see how this all works out for us, because again, not having a fun time trying to land this thing already. Oh, gain altitude, too low, too low for my tastes. Because I've still got a little ways to go before I am really lined up for an actual approach. Gain altitude, damn it! Too low, too low. Still too low. Um, I think we can start turning in for an actual landing. Ah, uh, nah, a little bit more. A little bit more. Don't stall out on me, plane. That is the one thing I will demand of you, is that you do not stall out on me. We still got a little ways to go before we're really lined up. Even right here, we're not really lined up properly. Still not really lined up. Okay, well, I have an idea now as to where I need to go. You guys better not try to land with me. I'm the one who's requesting permission to land, damn you! What do you mean, this traffic on the runway? Fuck you guys, I'm landing. I'm landing. You guys are less important. You're all in relatively safe conditions, I'm not, and I lost pretty much my entire flight group, but it's kind of their own damn fault. Landing flaps, gears, down. Oh, shit. Wrong button. I hate G because it's kind of what I'm used to having to be my gears button. Okay, this is going to be a rough landing. Um, actually, change of plans. We're actually going to go and say, fuck it, this is not a good enough approach. We had too little runway. Pull up! Going Too low to the ground. We've got that side runway there that we can try landing on. I'm not sure if I'll be able to really turn the plane to get a good approach on it from here. Oh, I can kind of correct my approach once I'm actually coming in. Got too much altitude now. Oh, don't you do that to me, game. Don't you dare do that to me. Uh, okay, I'm gonna come in from the other side of the island. 
because there are trees in the way on this side, okay. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked. I gotta come in from this side. Gotta go out far enough to ensure that I have the space needed. To be able to actually line myself up properly. Damn you, engine. We ain't got time for you to overheat. Still too close. Quit drifting off to the left and the right. Quit drifting. Just go straight out. Um, okay, I think I'm about capable of turning in and being able to correctly line myself up. So, here and turn in slowly because, well, too low to the ground. I'd rather not risk stalling. Watch out, BFs or uh, B17s. I was about to say BF17s. That uh, would have been a fail. Okay, I think we have a good approach. I think we have a good approach. Okie dokie. Let's pull up a little bit. We gotta go off to our right. Throttle up! Come on! Too much speed, but we ain't got time. Don't explode! Don't explode! God damn it! Okay, well, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, say screw it, and that's that. Uh, I will see you guys in a couple of weeks. Uh, but let me give you guys your options. So let's see. We have done uh, United States Marine Corps, U.S. Army, Air Force twice. I'm trying to recall, have we done U.S. Navy? I don't believe we have. We did do Royal Navy, I believe it was. But I don't think we've done U.S. Navy. So... In th okay, so I'm going to have to go and look back to check and make sure. But our choices, well, your guys' choices, should be Royal Air Force uh, here. Um, Royal Australian Air Force. The Royal New Zealand Air Force. United States Navy. And that is pretty much that. Uh, that's basically the last of the English-speaking nations. After that, um, you know, I'll go and give you guys a couple of non-English-speaking uh, choices. So let's see. Um, well, let me go ahead and write these down because the polls on Google Plus are limited to five choices. So. Let me write this down. So we've got um, RAF, RAAF, uh, what is it? Uh, R N Z A F, U S N K, and there's one other choice. So let's see, what shall it be? Um, hmm, let's see, I could go with France, and that would basically be the entirety of the Allies. I uh, could go with Germany and start getting in on the Axis uh, ones. I could do the USSR, which would also be Allies as well, actually, in this 
case of this game. Um, could do Poland. Not going to do Poland. Poland's going to be like the very last one if I ever decide to do it. Because I'd rather not do Poland. Um, let's see. Yeah, basically your choices are between France, Germany, and the USSR. Because Japan's going to have to wait because they're split between the army and navy. While USSR, Germany, and France are just one. Let's do... Let's see. Let's do Germany. So those are going to be your guys' choices. Royal Air Force, Royal Australian Air Force, Royal New Zealand Air Force, United States Navy, which, again, I'm pretty sure we haven't done. Uh, but if we have, then I'll go and throw France in to replace them. But again, I don't believe we've done U.S. Navy uh, and Germany. Uh, the poll will be going up probably around the same time that this series, this episode goes up. Uh, but the series itself won't be recorded for a uh, number of weeks. And let me see. Let me pull up a calendar real quick and take a look at it to get an idea as to what we're looking at time frame wise. So it's the 10th right now. Um, this goes up on the 11th. Uh, I will give you guys until August 31st to select. Once I wake up on August 31st, I will go and look at the poll, jot down the numbers, and look at them and say, okay, this is the side that won, and then I will go and record that. By then, in theory, I will hopefully have gone and bought a new flight stick to replace my uh, Cytex Cyborg X here that has decided to basically take a crap on itself now. Uh, granted, it has been getting more use as of more recently for recording this series, so maybe that's why it lasted as long as it did, because it wasn't used too much in the past. But now, as of the past number of months, it's been getting used quite extensively, so that's, that's probably why. Um, so yeah. You guys have until August 31st to select. Uh, again, the poll will probably be going up around the same time this episode goes up. Uh, maybe a little bit after. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but that's going to be that. That is this episode. I'm going to go and cut it down a bit because it's far too long for my tastes. And I'm sure for your guys' tastes as well. Uh, but I will see you guys... Uh, pretty much September 1st, because that would be when I go and actually uh, record the new uh, episode. Uh, let's see. Oh, and somebody's thanking me for helping them out, uh, fixing an issue with their Xbox One. Uh, whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's that, uh, as always. Like, share, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, like I said, I'll probably see you guys around September 1st uh, for recording the uh, next, uh, or for the uh, next campaign. Hopefully it'll last longer, but with the new flight stick, that will hopefully not have any issues. Uh, it will be able to definitely last much longer because I'll be able to actually use the flight stick uh, without it not working completely in certain aspects. Uh, but nonetheless, I will see you guys, like I said, next time. But until then, goodbye and farewell.